Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the Makeup Forever 30 Years, 30 Colors, 30 Artists palette. And really just going over every single detail, um, as much as I can anyways in a video and showing swatches and things like that. So I hope you all enjoy and please keep watching. It's a very sleek packaging on top. It says Makeup Forever and the rest is just plain black. On the inside it has all of the artist signatures and I think that's really cool. And then it has a tray that the pamphlet sits in. The pamphlet is one of obviously like my personal favorite parts of the palette. It really just talks about each artist, why they chose the shade, a personal tip from each artist, which I just think is really cool. I learned some things I had never thought to try. <laughs> um, but it really it just goes over each individual one and they've split the palettes into three parts they're calling the first one the smoky palette second is the neutral and lastly you have the artistic and it's really neat just to see all the differences and just i mean i, I appreciate that they included photos and stuff like that so that's kind of probably enough about a piece of paper <laughs> here's another little insert they put in and then on to the smoky palette so obviously each individual palette has 10 shadows. This first one was picked by Danny Sands in the shade M100. This was picked by V. Neal in ME624. This pretty one was picked by Debbie Zoller in D104. The next one was by Craig Lindberg, M618. Ricky Wilson, ME310. Steven Salido in ME930. Jackie Gomez, D320. Mai Quinn in ME654. Victoria Bowers, ME108. The last shade was picked by Darcy Gilmore in I606. So here are the swatches for the Smoky palette. My one that I didn't like was the original black, uh, but I don't usually like blacks. I love the last six colors. I'm literally in love with them, but you really need to try to like get your hands on one of these and swatch it for yourself. They're beautiful. I just quickly wanted to show how it, each palette has like a foam insert in between so as not to damage the shadows. Moving on to the neutral palette. Um, this is probably one of my favorites out of this whole thing, but I just love the neutral palette. This first shade is by Greg Wenzel in the shade I550. Rochar M636. Patty Dubroff M548. James Vincent I662. Joe Baker M536. Melanie Iglesias, D640. Joyce Benelli, M532. Anthony Nugent, ME512. Anthony Morante, ME122. Charles Porlier, in D868. And here are the swatches for the neutral palette. And I am so sorry about butchering these artists' names, but I'm, I'm doing my best, you guys. But like I said, these last two shadows right here are not at all getting any justice um, in this video. They are beautiful, especially this last color. Like, I am in love. But really, it's just, it's just so hard to try to translate on that on camera for you all to see. But this particular palette, I love the way it looks on my skin tone. Here's the last palette. I wanted to show how this one actually comes with two foam inserts because this one has to sit in the very bottom of the box and doesn't actually come out. And I thought it was nice that they included that little bit of extra um, layer there. This is the artistic palette. This is the beautiful, bright, vibrant color one. The first shade right here is by Louis Casco, Casco ME400. The next one is by Aaron Kruger Mikash in D206. This is a shade they're saying could be used as a blush, picked by Angelia, Angelia Avalon in I746. 
This is by Elizabeth Cohen in I340. This next one they say could also be used as a blush by Frances Hathaway in S852. Then Meryl Hollis's pick in ME304. Back up to another one they're saying could be used as a blush picked by Lottie in S742. Jody Yurchuk, Yurchuk in ME230. Last one they're saying could also be used as a blush picked by Kabuki in I922. And then the last shade, William Lemon the Third in I220. I don't know if I could personally use those four colors as um, blushes, but that is something they're saying they could be used for, so I don't know. <laughs> Here are the swatches. The first four colors to me come out very um, pastel almost, and then they get more vibrant. I am in love with the purple. Um, it totally reminds me of this purple that I wanted from the Simpsons collection by MAC, and now I'm just really glad that I didn't purchase that palette for one shade because I got it in this one. <laughs> but again, these are really light, those first four. That blue swatched much lighter than I thought it would. But here's my makeup forever. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.